loud. Okay, so welcome to everyone that was able to make it in person. Um, and then I'm gonna record and send in an email follow up to everyone else. But um, for this first call today, I'm gonna just give a short introduction of um, myself if you haven't worked with me directly before. Um, I do have a few slides um, just to kind of explain the program a little bit. Um, and then we do have two former mentors that are current mentors again this year that will give um, just a brief um, explanation about their experience as a mentor. And um, then we'll talk about some next steps. Um, so I'm really excited to work with you all this year. So let me just pull up the slides. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Let me go to the beginning. That would be helpful. Okay. Um, so first, just a little, is everyone able to see those slides? Yes. Great. Um, so for those of you who haven't worked with me directly, um, my name is Emily James. I'm the Community Engagement Manager at Global Giving. Um, so my team is in charge of um, being your first point of contact when you contact Global Giving. Um, so any questions you have through customer service, um, and then also sort of more engagement opportunities like the Leadership Council and um, this mentoring program. So that all goes through my team. So you've probably received an email from me um, if you haven't spoken to me directly over a phone or a conference call, but I'm really excited about this program. Um, I actually started this um, two years ago. We had been hearing from our community a bunch that they wanted more ways to connect with one another and not through global giving so directly. Um, and so we piloted this program back in 2017 to see if this was a um, possible avenue that we could do that. And um, so far it seemed to be really successful. So I'm excited to um, start the third cohort and to have you all part of that program. So welcome. Thank you. Um, this is kind of a, a brief overview of how the process works. So um, you all have given me topics and we've sort of gone back and forth through email to kind of refine that topic that will be put on the application form. Um, so what will happen is we'll have that application form sent out to our community and then partners will be able to sign up for a topic that they are interested in. Um, when they do that, you will get an email saying that someone has filled out the form and you will have all their contact information um, sent to you. So it will be on you to set up the call or Skype or WhatsApp, whatever is the best way to connect with the individual um, and then have the call. Um, they can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. It sort of depends on the topic and sort of how um, involved you get with um, the peer. And then from there, we will have some feedback forms. One will be that you can send to the person you mentored and they will be able to give you um, some feedback about the process overall. And then a feedback form to myself. So we like to keep this program very flexible. Um, we have changed it um, numerous times based on the feedback of our mentors. So we really want to make sure this program is really beneficial for you and for the people that you're mentoring. Um, so we try to pivot and be flexible throughout the whole time. So those feedback forms are really important for me. Um, so do let me know if there's anything that you think could be changed or improved um, as you're doing your consultations. Um, so just a reminder of the benefits that you'll get after um, completing the program. Um, so you will have the ability to connect with peers um, at Global Giving. We've gotten a lot of feedback from previous mentors about how um, exciting that is um, to be able to reach out to people working in completely different countries on different um, themes and topics. So um, that is quite a benefit, I think. Um, and then you will also get 12 GG reward points and then also um, $250 um, as a grant to your organization through um, a Global Giving Disbursement. Um, this was our last year's mentor cohort. Um, we have two currently serving again. So uh, Ben Ken and Nancy are here again this year, which is very exciting. Um, every cohort we've had two mentors go to the next um, term, which I think says a lot about um, the benefits of this program and how um, beneficial it can be 
for you and for our wider community. Um, and you'll actually hear from Ben, Ken, and Mansi later um, in just a bit. So they're going to tell you a little bit about their time being a mentor. Um, and they're, I'm sure, open for any questions that you may have throughout this process. They've been phenomenal mentors, and um, I'm really glad that they're here again this year. So last year's cohort did 86 consultations, which is really amazing. Um, we only had four mentors for the past two cohorts. This year we were able to um, increase our budget and we now have eight mentors. So I'm really excited about the possibilities that that um, will mean for this, this program and, and how many more people we'll be able to reach um, in our community. So there's a lot of good possibilities there. Um, we are making some changes this year based on um, feedback and just re uh, resources that we've been able to allocate to this program. Um, so some of the feedback we've received is last year, um, some of the mentors signed up for consultations with each other before doing their first um, consultation with an outside peer. Um, there was really great feedback about this, about um, kind of giving each other real-time feedback and tips about how the sessions went and sort of refining their topic a bit more. So we are going to start this this year. Um, so before you do a consultation with um, another Global Giving member, um, we're going to have you sign up with each other and just kind of do a practice session with each other. Um, we also have increased, like I said, we've always had four, four co uh, mentors in the cohorts before, but this year we have increased that to eight. I hope to increase it a little each year. I think um, this is a really strong program, and I think the more we're able to do, the better. Um, so we'll, we've now doubled it, so let's see how that, how that goes. Um, another thing that uh, was done in previous cohorts was um, some people would create sort of introductory material to send to their mentee before they started the consultation. So um, Maggie, a former mentor, um, did a little recorded webinar about sort of kind of an overview of her topic. And then that way, when she finally uh, connected one-on-one -on -one with the mentee, um, they had very specific questions about their organization and she didn't have to kind of go over the general um, high level stuff every single time. Um, I know we've had some people um, email some resources ahead of time. Um, anything that you can do to kind of focus the consultation and make sure that it's really productive in that time you have together um, is, is, is really beneficial. And that's also something you can talk about when you sign up for the practice consultations uh, with each other. Um, so this is what is expected of you through the 12 month period that you are with us. Um, so we want you to conduct at least eight consultations over a 12 month period. Um, usually when we send out the form, like in the newsletter or the Facebook group, we do kind of get an influx of consultations. Um, and I usually suggest kind of staggering those out. So um, planning, you know, maybe one a month. So even if you get four consultations in one go, asking if people wouldn't mind waiting a couple weeks. Um, this also is a great opportunity to provide them those introductory materials to review so that by the time you're meeting with them, maybe in a couple weeks, um, they've had time to do that, that prep work and it's a, it's a more productive call. Um, we will have quarterly calls together. Um, so I just kind of like to hear how it's going, um, anything that's working really well that maybe other mentors would um, benefit from hearing about, um, and also any feedback about things that we could change in real time um, to make sure that it's, it's the most productive program going forward. Um, and then one brand new thing that um, I want to try this year, especially now that we have a lot more mentors, is attempting sort of a larger activity. So this could be um, a group consultation where you have sort of a virtual meeting with a few people, not just one-on-one, -on -one, um, or a sort of workshop type program, maybe in person or kind of like a, a meetup in your community. Um, we have had a lot of requests, especially from new accelerator graduates, um, not really understanding sort of the global giving community or kind of online fundraising in general. So if that sort of touches on the topic that you will be mentoring on, um, it would be really great if you could sort of run like a group sort of course um, throughout your time with us. Um, and we'll discuss that in more detail later. Um, and also when I review sort of your topics and talk about that with you more, we can discuss if, if I think your topic would be a really, really good fit for one of those sort of wider uh, consultations. Okay, so I want to pass it along to Venkat. Um, 
Ben Cat is actually an original mentor. So he's been on the program both years from the inception of this program. Um, and he's been a phenomenal mentor and, and really helped the program grow. Um, so I'm gonna pass along to him to talk about his uh, time as a mentor with us. Thanks, Emily. Um, hi, hi everyone. This is uh, Venkat Ramakrishnan. I am the project leader of an uh, organization called Isha Education, which is uh, educating underprivileged rural children in the uh, southern portion of India. Uh, we are operating in a couple of states. Um, I got into this pro mentorship program uh, as one of the original mentors, and I really started liking it because I was able to connect with various organizations around the world, and uh, I was able to make a difference uh, in their uh, effectiveness. Uh, when, when we started, it was an effectiveness uh, cycles that uh, I was focusing on. And right now, I uh, last year, I did the visibility, uh, how to make the organization visible uh, at Global Giving. And I uh, mentored uh, several organizations, I think around 16 organizations worldwide uh, to how to increase their visibility. Um, I have a, a slide here that explains what went well and what are the areas of improvement that we can look at. So what went well so far in the mentorship program is that we have a solid platform for mentoring right now. And uh, we, our mentees are very collaborative and they're very friendly. They are uh, willing to um, listen to feedback and uh, they, are, uh, they are kind of friendly in uh, listening to feedback in, in, in how they are implementing the stuff. Um, so we, we actually did the calls through Skype and WhatsApp in the last programs. And the communication uh, language was in English. And we did the tracking of how the mentorship uh, sessions went through uh, Google Drive uh, sheet. And moving forward, uh, we would like to have uh, some of the expectations management, uh, which I talked about also in the Global Giving staff meeting um, so the organizations that are seeking partnership uh, through this program, like uh, Venkat, uh, can your organization be our partner or something like that in the mentorship call? So I usually ask them to uh, email us so that we can take it forward uh, because we do some significant work here in India and many organizations in India are doing work with us. So it, it was kind of a repetitive pattern that many organizations wanted to partner with us. So I asked them to email uh, to us uh, so that we can take it forward. Um, in general, uh, irrespective of the topic that we are mentoring uh, as mentors, in general, the, the question is, what is the fundraising strategy that we are using? That, that was a very common question that came across from several uh, mentees. Um, this is a very difficult question uh, to answer, and it's very subjective depending on the organization that is working on uh, specific areas. And uh, each organization is different and unique, and it's not possible to come up with a common fundraising strategy for an organization. So we can, as a mentor, we can only tell you how to get from point A to point B. Um, but other than that, uh, it, it, it depends on a various uh, set of factors, like what's your budget, how much of that is funded by global giving, uh, fundraising, and there are several other factors, how much your organization is willing to uh, put in place the changes that we are suggesting as mentors and so on. So there are several things that are uh, involved in, uh, in, 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 uh, in, in being effective uh, 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 in, the, in the fundraising. So it's, it's very difficult to come up with a common theme on fundraising strategy. So that expectation has to be managed somehow by the mentors. Um, so some of the organizations is quite interesting during my first year of mentorship were asking how much my GG reward points are. Um, so uh, it, they might have asked it in a you know, very naive fashion, nothing wrong about it, but uh, it was kind of uh, awkward for me to answer the question. And, uh, you know, I, I said that, you know, I don't want to share that information with you. So, 
So I'm just letting you know that these are the kind of questions that come from mentees sometimes. Um, some partners are, you know, kind of demanding, like, uh, um, I, I think, Emily, this is an old slide. I, I actually uh, sent the updated slide to you, right? So this is... Gotcha. So, um, so sometimes they are kind of pushy, like, uh, you know, I want to know the stuff and things like that. So it has to be managed uh, carefully. So um, the things that went uh, well were the, um, you know, Zoom is a better option uh, than Skype because Skype needs an ID. And uh, many times there were con confusion um, on what the Skype ID of the mentee is. And there were mentees who are not providing the proper uh, Skype ID. And Zoom doesn't require any such ID. So they can just click on the link and you'll be able to join the meeting. Um, WhatsApp requires a phone number and some people won't prefer to do that over WhatsApp because the phone number becomes visible. So, so Zoom sounds to be a better option. Um, the other major feedback that I want to give uh, on the mentoring program is that uh, many organizations are not uh, you know, acting upon the suggestions or the recommendations that we are putting forward. Um, and, and so I, I, I felt that it's partly because, uh, you know, the mentorship uh, is happening in uh, parts and bits and pieces because uh, they get mentored on social media, they get mentored on visibility, they get mentored on, say, uh, graphic utilities and so on. There are several areas in which they get mentored. And, uh, Usually it takes, uh, it, it becomes stressful for them in terms of time and implementing those uh, points. Because for example, take my case, I, I was mentored by Mansi, I was mentored by uh, Maggie, I was mentored by Alicia. Uh, I was able to implement only portions of stuff that I got mentored uh, from each of these people. So I was thinking that, uh, you know, in order to follow up and put a effective mentorship program in place, probably you should have end-to-end -end mentoring uh, for an organization rather than uh, mentoring on a specific area. So I spoke with Emily, I um, shared my idea with her and we are discussing that at this point of time. And uh, so if it goes well, uh, I would like to be an end-to-end -end mentor focusing on a few areas I have identified uh, some causes around the world, which I'm passionate about and I'm knowledgeable about those areas I would like to mentor on. Uh, it doesn't matter which organization, it doesn't matter which country they come from. It depends on the work that they are doing and it depends on um, you know, the, whether they are willing to receive the mentorship from me. So that's the model that we are looking at. Um, so, I, I suggested to Emily that, you know, probably we can start this model with one or two mentors and see how it works. Uh, so that's all I have. Thanks for giving time for me to talk about uh, my mentoring and the future plans. Great. Thank you, Venka. And now we're going to hear from Nancy. Let me see. I got your slides here. Hi, everyone. Um... It's always so good to be on one of these calls. Um, I'm going to apologize for my voice. I'm recovering from a sore throat, um, but I hope you can all hear me clearly. Um, <clears throat> so this slide is basically, well, I'll introduce myself first. Um, so I'm Mansi Kotak, I'm from Kenya, um, and I am the co-founder of an organization called the Raoul Kotak Foundation. Um, we work here in Kisumu County, which is in the western part of Kenya, when we work with children in the slums and rural areas with the primary focus of of trying to improve the quality of education that they um, receive. So we implement various programs like a literacy program where we build libraries in different communities. We have a meals program that ensures um, students get um, access to break and lunch um, on their school days, um, among other programs. Um, one of the reasons why I absolutely love these, um, this uh, mentorship program is because in my first year of being on Global Giving, I was actually one of Venkat's um, mentees and I learned so much about the Global Giving platform and it's such a great way to connect with other organizations that are working in similar fields. Um, so when I had the opportunity to um, offer something, um, it, um, I offered um, a, a topic on how to create 
creative fundraising campaigns on a very tight budget. And um, throughout my year, I had such a great experience that when I was doing this um, slide for the Global Giving Staff Meeting, I asked myself what are the three words I would use to describe the experience. And I actually was quite surprised that I came up with quite a few words. Um, <clears throat> the main words um, here are highlighted in red, um, which kind of highlight the experience I had. Um, the main thing about the mentorship program for me was how fluid it was and how rewarding it was to be able to connect with organizations, no matter what part of the world they were in, and identify a lot of common challenges we had, despite the areas we were working in, and how we could connect with each other and how we could share resources um, and ideas to help address um, these very challenges. Um, so again, having had conversations with Venkat, Maggie and Alicia, we've actually um, taken the step to implement a lot of things. And at the moment we're implementing a lot of the feedback we got from <clears throat> Alicia and Maggie on social media and how we present ourselves. And that's something we've been consciously trying to work on. Um, and of course, with what Venkat said, we've um, learned so much about being on the global giving platform. Um, very quickly to kind of share what I feel about this program is I think it's a very unique opportunity because we don't necessarily have a school or a college where we can learn so much about nonprofits. And I personally think the best way to learn about how to work in nonprofits and run nonprofits comes from the experiences of other uh, people running nonprofits. So having the ability to have these conversations um, is something really um, unique and special, um, which is what makes this particular program a very interesting one and um, a great one to be a part of. Um, as far as some of the challenges they were, um, or what we could do better, um, I, I think it's already been incorporated by what Emily said earlier, was just the ability to connect regionally with new graduates um, from the accelerator program or have in-depth sessions um, or follow-up sessions based on <clears throat> based on what you had already discussed in this. And again, that's something Benka has touched upon that sometimes people didn't necessarily follow up uh, on, on the advice you gave them. Um, so I think a lot of effort has been made to cover those areas. So yeah, I'm actually really happy to be back on the program and uh, to connect with more people, learn from each other, and yeah, yay. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. We're happy that you applied again. It means this, this program is, is working, I think. Um, great, so that's sort of the, kind of the introduction about the program. Um, I wanted to just see, um, Elizabeth, you're the only new member on the call live, so I just wanted to see if you had any questions um, and also maybe introduce yourself to myself, Mancy, and Venkat, and maybe talk about um, the topic that you're going to be mentoring on. Hi, thank you. Um, yes, I'm Elizabeth Gowing, and I'm British and also Kosovan. Um, Kosovan, having lived here for 13 years, and I got my citizenship last year. Um, and I also split my time uh, with some time every month in Albania. So I'm kind of uh, Balkan based. Um, and I do a lot of, uh, I'm a writer as well, that's by, by profession. I've just published my fifth book. And um, the books are about all kinds of things. They're nonfiction, mainly travel books. Um, but one of them is called The Rubbish Picker's Wife. Um, an unlikely friendship in Kosovo. And that one tells the story about the woman I first met from the community of rubbish pickers that our, um, our nonprofit works with in Kosovo and how meeting her and um, working with her that we started the work that we do, which is mainly focused on uh, education also. I'm a teacher by, by training and we also run health projects and we're active in five municipalities across Kosovo. But because I've written these books, um, I'm often uh, invited to give talks about the books. Um, and then I started kind of promoting myself as a speaker. Um, I also contribute regularly to BBC Radio 4. Um, and so I found that these um, lectures that I do to groups mainly in the UK um, are a really great fundraising opportunity, um, even though that's not what they're what they set out to be, but people are interested in the work of our charity and want to contribute. Sometimes they want to be volunteers. It's a way of raising profile, but also very directly often in just raising money either on the night or in getting donations. So this is something I thought uh, would be 
very useful for people to to know about because I think we think a lot about written communication but perhaps not in this idea of, of spoken communication and I think these days actually certainly in Britain it's becoming quite fashionable again to kind of go Oh, it paused just for a minute, Elizabeth. Go to face face. Me saying how I thought it was very fashionable these days. Great. Yeah. Um, so like uh, Global Giving, you do your town hall meetings. And I think there's a sort of growing sense now that actually people want human contact. And so it's how you can tell your story face to face to people. I've done a few TED talks as well, which are obviously the same kind of skills. And those have definitely had a big impact in people contributing uh, financially or as volunteers to our, our nonprofit. Um, so yeah, that's the background to me and what I'm hoping to offer. Um, and it's great to hear about the um, the success of the program over the last two years. I'm a bit daunted. So I saw you said 80 sessions, 80 something sessions have been done and there were only four mentors. So does that mean that people were doing 20 something sessions each? Well, yeah, so 86 consultation forms came in. Um, so sometimes just an email saying like, here's a webinar or here's some resources I had, often peers would be like, oh, that's all I, that's all I needed. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So I think when we actually look at the meeting with the video one-to-one, -one, um, that's that's much lower. Um, ben Cat, I think you put that you actually mentored 27. Is that through the two years or just in one? It's it's for two years. Okay. Uh, the first year uh, it were it was 11 organizations, and the second year it was uh, 16 organizations. Okay. Most most of my calls ended up like an hour or so. <laughs> But that, that is definitely not required, Elizabeth. So I, we, we completely understand that you have a full-time job and, and other things going on. Um, so we ask that you do eight. Um, yeah. And then if you have the desire and, and ability to do a few more, that's, that's, that's great. But do not feel like you have to do more than that. Um, great. So as far as next steps go, um, I am going to finalize the application form. So I'm going to take all the topics that you all applied with and um, create the official form. Um, and then I'm going to send it to you all just to give me kind of a last review to make sure this topic um, is, is, is um, accurate to what you want to um, mentor on. And then we'll start signing up for consultations with each other. Um, I'm going to ask that you just do one with another um, mentor. Um, if you would like to do more, that is perfectly fine. But I, I, again, know that time is limited in the nonprofit world. So um, only feel like you need to do one. And I can help facilitate that, especially if people all want to kind of do a practice with the same person. I want to make sure that gets spread out a little bit. Um, so I will do, I will do that today. Um, does anyone have any pressing questions um, for today? Anything that I can answer? Um, I'm also available on email all the time. So if anything comes up in the future, um, I'm available to them. But I just want to make sure all pressing questions are answered today. No questions. So want to jump in. <laughs> Sorry, Venka? Just want to jump in, I said. Oh, okay. Yep. And Elizabeth, I think you had something? Um, I was just wondering those uh, sessions with each other, is that like a role play or is it something where we can actually use it for our own, for, you know, to learn something that we're, can we select something that's relevant to our not profit so that we can learn from each other? Absolutely. Yeah, no. So I would, I would just do your regular um, consultation, but definitely make it, you know, beneficial for the other person. So if you're signing up for one, they'll treat you like a normal you know, peer and um, give you an actual consultation. So um, hopefully it'll be. So is the idea that we'll do two, like one where we are mentoring and one where we're being a mentee, is that the? Correct, yeah. Um, and then I'll give you, I don't want you doing this like next week because I want you to have some time to sort of um, prepare to be able to do it. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be really good to have your first consultation that you give not be with um, a brand new person. I think kind of practicing would be good. Um, and then being able to be a mentee and kind of get some information that could be beneficial, I think would be, would be great. Wonderful. Okay, well- Can we I just have a very quick question, sorry? Yes. No, of course. <laughs> when, is, when is the first um, email going out to um, all the Global Giving Partners about the 
So mm -hmm. I was hoping to do um, in the September newsletter. So that would be September 7th. <laughs> so a little less than a month to kind of do the practice consultations and sort of get everything prepared. Um, if we feel like that is coming up a little too quickly, um, we can move that. But that's sort of my first goal. Uh, so Emily, I have a, I have a point. Um, since my uh, kind of initiative is kind of new, if you feel like contacting me or anything, just give me a call on my mobile. I hope that you have my mobile number. So just give me a call and we can speak anytime and okay. uh, sort, out, sort out any things that is required. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to articulate your kind of new uh, topic in the application form. You let me know if that reflects what you would like to do and if it kind of showcases it um, correctly. And if not, well, let's have a call and figure out how to make that clear. Wonderful. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. Um, so I will send this recording out in an email and I'll um, sort of let the other mentors know that couldn't make it today, sort of what the next steps are. Um, and again, just reach out if you have any questions and then we will get started sort of doing some consultations with each other. I'm very excited. This is my favorite program that we do at Global Giving. So I'm always excited when we get it going. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Okay, well, you have 20 minutes back in your day or night. <laughs> um, <laughs> so have a good, a good rest of your night and um, I will be in contact shortly. Okay, have a good All weekend. Right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.